Now we gotta talk about Teen Titans Robin. This man was cooking his ops like bro had no reason to be hitting that poles right there. He really think he's Batman. I'm weak. <laughs> so the scene kicks off and we're currently in Tokyo and it was on site between Psychotech and the Titans. The Titans fire at Psychotech but this man must have had his showering on activated cause he was hitting all types of moves to avoid from getting hit. Like he saw those from a mile away. The cameraman pans over and we just see the Titans standing there talking about Stop now. Yeah man, the locals don't like it when you blow up their stuff. Oh, oh, scary. Oh, 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 shiver my timbers. Shut up, man. Psychotech was just standing there with his hands in the air as if he was actually going to surrender. But then he just hits the... Got so Psychotech gets out of there immediately and he was in mid-air hitting the cleanest weaves. He was simply untouchable, out there looking like Goku. Psychotech starts heading for the Titan's tower, but then Cyborg pulls up on him and this man turns him into Sasuke. But Cyborg must have forgot that he can regenerate his arm back like Piccolo. You can just tell that Cyborg is quaking in his boots right now. That man was shook. He simply was not built for this. So then Psychotech puts an explosive boomerang in Cyborg's car. But he luckily gets out of there before he gets turned into smithereens and has to join Thanos and Iron Man in the grave. And my guy Psychotech is on a mission. Cause even though it's like a 1v5 right now, he's still heading for the tower. But then all of a sudden, Starfire's trash ad decides to pull up and sneak up right behind him and is like... But I did not wish to do this when you were not looking. Look, I told your little friend I... Shut your s- Psychotech was not trying to hear any of that, so he grabs her and then tosses her like how Mario did to Bowser. And then he proceeds to throw shurikens at her. He was trying to pack her up right then and there. But then she somehow gets saved from dying from fall damage. So after all of that happens, Psychotech finally arrives at the tower and starts blowing this thing up. Like bro, he threw at least 20 explosives. Calm down dog. it ain't that deep. And Cyborg still didn't learn his lesson after how he almost got packed up. Like bro, I need you to do everyone a favor and stop fighting and let Robin handle this. Because I, I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. <laughs> And Psychotech is like, oh yeah, it's free eats out here. So he dodges all of Cyborg's blast and then throws explosives and sends this man flying downwards. But then he just gets saved once again. Like you're, you're trash, kid. So then Raven thinks she's slick and tries a sneaky move on Psychotech and crushes this man together with two boulders. But bro, how do we tell you that's they not gonna work? work. Psychotech rushes at Raven and serves her up with the most majestic <laughs> kick I've done ever seen. I know even Jaden Smith was impressed after seeing that one bro. And my guy Robin just watched the entire team get cooked right in front of him for like 10 minutes straight. So you know he had to lock in. Because Psychotech just caused more property damage than the Avengers. Robin comes flying down from the building and he was out here looking like Miles Morales. He had a straight face and everything. That's how I knew it was personal for him. So Robin goes behind Psychotech and takes the jetpack off of this man's body. I don't know why he chose that move. Like bro, couldn't he have just hit the Miguel O'Hara and slammed his body to the ground? But Robin gives him that three piece combo and right before he could hit the ground, Robin tingles him up and he had this man hanging upside down like Spider-Man. So Robin starts interrogating Psychotech like it's an episode of Scooby-Doo. But you already know he couldn't snitch on the gang cause this man starts talking in gibberish. But we all knew he was acting dumb on purpose. Maybe if he had a Big Mac with some fries on the side, he might have pulled a 6 9 Okay so boom, it's nighttime in Tokyo and my guy Robin is just chilling and observing the gadget that he stole from Psychotech. Like that man was moving like Sherlock Holmes, looking for any clues that he could get. And it looked like a pretty chill scene, right? But what he didn't know was that he was about to get caught lacking. Because you know how villains be moving. If they can't win the first time, they might as well try again because they have nothing to lose. So out of nowhere, an explosive is thrown at Robin. But he's got those fast reflexes so he obviously makes his way out of there. And bro, look at this frame. This could be an album cover, that's how hard it was. The cameraman switches angles and we see that another Psychotech spun the block on Robin and you know he's fiending for his get back. Robin starts chasing Psychotech like Phantom chasing a cheeseburger. And I'm actually kind of confused right now. Cause how are you gonna pull up on Robin but run away from him? Like why are you ducking a fight that you started? 
and Robin has a Steph Curry accuracy. He has a perfect aim. So he lands a blade in Psychotech's back and this man froze and then dropped to the ground. And I know his bones are on life support right now. If it weren't for that suit, he would be cooked. And I think all of you guys know what's about to happen next. This was the main reason I made this video in the first place. Because look at what Robin does, bro. Bro, you cannot even make this stuff up. How are we just finding out what Robin was doing to his ops back in the day? Like this show was made in 2007, bro. Like, is this a new episode? Am I missing something? Bro, there should be no reason for a little kid to be hitting the double leg finisher like he's in the WWE. Like, nobody in their right mind would even think of the hitting this pose right here. Not even Randy Orton. And bro, at this point, I feel bad for Psychotech because he looked up in the air and saw that he was about to get packed up. Like, if that was me, I would have just accepted my fate right then and there. Because there's no way I'm about to escape a double knee finisher that's coming straight for my dome piece. So then Robin lands on Psychotech, but he luckily escapes from getting one tapped in the head. And he's like, I want answers! Nah, bro, I think we need answers for what you just tried to do. Don't think we're gonna slide past this. And Psychotech was not gonna let that type of disrespect get to him. So he gets right up out of there and this is where they start boxing. Robin goes in for two kicks but he blocks those with zero effort. And this is where Psychotech turns into Ronaldo and starts cooking. He swings at Robin and then kicks him in the chest but he's not finished. Cause this man charges up the meanest roundhouse kick and then smacks Robin in the face. You could just tell he was mad angry after that one. So then Robin starts chasing after Psychotech for a little while until Robin comes out of the shadows and tackles him onto a rooftop. And I don't know if it's just me, but this reminds me of the first time Sasuke and Naruto fought on a hospital rooftop. Like you already know the fight is gonna be fire when it's being held at a random location. And Robin somehow handcuffs this man in the middle of the air. I'm not even gonna lie, I was not familiar with your game. Psychotech turns into Houdini and gets out of the handcuffs in like 5 seconds. But then he pulls out two swords out of his inventory. And this is where stuff got serious. Robin slides under Psychotech, but this man jumps over him and cuts his clothes in half. But there's one thing you shouldn't do, which is to mess with a man's drip. And Robin is like, I bet, you wanna play dirty? So they get to fighting. But then Robin barely manages to get out the way. Psychotech breaks Robin's blade in half, and then they both throw a fury of kicks at each other, which deal as much damage as Jake Paul throwing a punch at someone. It does nothing. And long story short, Psychotech hits the dash for like the 10th time this fight. I don't know why he's trying to get away. But then Robin just throws an explosive, which sends Psychotech flying backwards. But then Robin grabs him and then slams him into a billboard. And Robin was moving like Tom Holland the time he fought Green Goblin. Because he was spamming a bunch of punches on Psychotech. Like bro, the fight is over. You're doing way too much. 